Hey friend, Brandon here. I know a lot of you have been asking for updates on the Google Pixel Watch and my thoughts, so let's talk about the Google Pixel Watch. Recently, there's been a new leak about the Google Pixel Watch that came out from Business Insider, but the reality is that it actually doesn't tell us too much that's new outside of a few points. But those few points give us a lot to think about, and it gives us an opportunity to look at existing devices to get a better idea of what to expect out of the Google Pixel Watch, specifically by looking at this awesome thing. This is the Fitbit Sense that Best Buy sent out to me. Thanks to Best Buy for sponsoring a portion of this video. But here's what I can say. If Google can pull off what these rumors and links show, I'm really excited about what Google has in store. So here's a quick summary of what we do know so far, and then we'll dig a lot deeper. First, most of this was originally revealed by John Prosser at Front Page Tech eight months ago. <laughs> He showed off some renders of the Google Pixel Watch based upon marketing mock-up images. And then recently, he revealed the actual marketing mock-up images. So we'll have some of those images throughout this video. But it's important to keep in mind that these are at least eight months old. And that means that the actual design may be a little bit different than what we're seeing here. First, its codename is Rohan. And while its official name hasn't been solidified, the marketing material mock-ups do show it as using the Pixel Watch branding. In these images, we see it has a more traditional round watch face with a bezel-less design. This definitely looks fantastic, but it also presents a risk for greater fragility and potential shattered glass like what we've seen on the Google Pixel 6 Pro's curved edge screen. I don't know anything about that. Along the side, we see a fairly pronounced crown, which will be nice for some tactility when we're interacting with it, but it also looks really big and could possibly catch on things easily, but we'll have to find out for sure when we get in hand if it actually happens. What has been really encouraging to hear is how they're putting a large emphasis on comfort. For me, I find that a lot of smartwatches and wearables are kind of uncomfortable, which makes me not want to wear them. There are some that don't bother me as much, like the Fitbit Sense, but other devices start feeling uncomfortable and irritate my skin really easily. Since this prototype Google Pixel Watch or whatever they call it, has been given out to a number of people at Google for testing, the unfortunate point to hear is that people are getting maybe a day of life out of it and it'll require everyday charging. So that's a bit of a letdown when some devices can last a couple of days or multiple days like Fitbits. Now what's especially exciting is that this uses the newest version of Wear OS that was unveiled at the last Google I.O. and was developed in conjunction with Samsung. 9to5 Google has recently discovered a lot of the changes to Wear OS 3, its interface and its features, which you'll see off to the side here. Now there are other smartwatch devices out there using Wear OS 3 and more to come, but they don't really have the true experience of what you expect out of a Google Pixel or Google made device. With the rumored Google Pixel Watch, Google is looking to go toe to toe with something like the Apple Watch, and that means that they're going to go for a lot of feature parodies like native integration with their respective smart assistant, like the fantastic Google Assistant, I really want that, and then typical smartwatch features like messaging, notifications, and calls, but also health and fitness metrics that can monitor your heart rate, count your steps, and other types of health readings. But here's the part that is especially interesting to me. Fitbit. You see, Google acquired Fitbit at the beginning of 2021 for $2.1 billion and then merged them into Google's existing wearables team. According to The Verge, Rick Osterloh, Senior Vice President of Devices and Services, told them that their goal is to integrate Fitbit into Wear OS 3. Internally, this is referred to as Project Nightlight. While not confirmed, it is possible that we'll see this in the upcoming Google Pixel Watch, and with 9to5 Google's recent discovery in the Wear OS 3 emulator for developers, they found a video file of 10 watch faces that seem to be for the upcoming Google Pixel Watch, including one watch face that matches the renders and marketing images that John Prosser released, and this one that has a Fitbit logo on it. I'm very excited. So, you know, if you're like me, you're probably wondering what a Fitbit integration means for the Google Pixel Watch. So I decided to find out for myself because I personally haven't used a Fitbit until the Fitbit Charge 5 that came out a few months ago. I bought it for myself when it first came out because I wanted to find out what Fitbit can bring to Wear OS 3, as well as its strengths and benefits. And I've used a Fitbit since that Best Buy has sent out to me for about a week now, and I really love the design of it. It's really smooth and clean looking and doesn't feel uncomfortable on my wrist, which is seriously uncommon for me. And on the back, you see that there's a ton of sensors here, and that's to provide all the measurements and data for all the health and fitness features that Fitbit offers and are actually quite fantastic. And hopefully that ends up going into Wear OS 3 and into the Google Pixel Watch. But what are the benefits? First, it has Google Assistant natively built in, which I think is crucial for a good smartwatch, but the Fitbit Sense also gives you the option to use Alexa if you want to use that. But one of the things that I really love is the sleep monitoring built into it. And it only reminds me that I need to go to bed, which I need to follow more, but it also gives me a rating on how good my sleep is based upon the length of time I was asleep, how restless I was, and how deep of a sleep I got. It can even track how much I snore, which I didn't think I snored, and I'm kind of annoyed by that. It even measures how often I breathe per minute and the temperature of my skin, which is wild and something I never thought of. And of course, there's a lot of monitoring of your heart, heart rate variability for things like the ECG feature, and more. And of course, it can track your workouts, which I've been wanting to get back into now that I've quit my full-time job to do YouTube 
YouTube and want to get back into working out. You know, I'm just adding on a little bit of cushion right here and I need to get rid of that. It needs to be in really great shape. But here's something that is going to be a huge benefit, the Fitbit ecosystem. That means that there's already a robust community of people that are already using Fitbit and you can compete and see how your friends and peers are doing along with different categories or in smaller groups that you form together. And then there are your workouts that you can do, nutrition and mindful tips and other programs, challenges and other things that you can check out and join. That's the cool thing about Fitbit and something that is huge to have integrated into a smartwatch, a community and tons of resources that are already good to go the moment you buy one. It's a huge leap over the competition if you think about it, right? Now the thing that fascinates me is that it can measure your stress by combining your heart rate readings when you're awake and sleeping, how active you are, your workouts, nutrition, your sleeping patterns, and more. I actually think it's pretty crazy to have all of that and all the data and something so simple that's constantly measuring your body. And for the sense, having a battery life that can last six days or more is insane in a smartwatch. It's crazy convenient and honestly something that you don't find in most smartwatches. Now, if you want to check out the Fitbit ecosystem and purchase the Fitbit Sense, Best Buy has a deal going on right now where you can get up to $100 off of Fitbit so you can save money on the model that works best for you. You can find out about that deal by clicking the link in the description. So genuinely, after using a Fitbit, it makes you really excited to see this robust and mature ecosystem platform and community ready to go in a Google Pixel Watch. So rumors state that it may come in the spring, but that depends on whether or not the feedback from employees go well. With a battery life that sounds like it may not be the most amazing, and with the importance and strategic benefit of Fitbit that needs to be integrated and ready to go from the start, there is a reasonable possibility that this may be delayed even longer. Of course, since we don't know for sure when the Pixel Watch is coming out, a Fitbit has the technology in place to have you covered for a smartwatch for your health and fitness now. Both the Fitbit Sense and Charge 5 are on sale right now at Best Buy, so get it now before the sale ends on December 20th. 24th. But either way, I think Wear OS 3 will easily elevate Google to a spot number two for smartwatches, all because of the Fitbit integration. And that just makes me stoked. But I'd love to know what you think and what you hope to see about the Google Pixel Watch. What do you think about the Fitbit integrations into Wear OS 3? I think it's going to add a lot that Google doesn't have to work so hard on building. It's already there. But let me know in the comments and into this is Tech Today Community Discord chat server. There's a link in the description to join next to that link to get up to $100 off Fitbit at Best Buy. So thanks for watching This Is Tech Today. Until next time.